discovery of gases and respiration. The term respiration came into existence in 14th century. Generally, respiration is referred as the process involving passage of air and production of body heat. In 18th century, Lavoisier and Priestley discovered the properties of gases, their exchange and respiration. Based on this, we know how the exchange of gases goes on. In earlier classes, you have already studied the Priestley's experiments. Priestley's experiment helped us to find more about composition of air. Lavoisier also performed several experiments to understand the properties of gases. In his earlier experiments, he thought that the gas liberated on heating powdered charcoal in a bell jar, kept over water in a trough was like fixed ray. His next series of experiments was based on combustion of phosphorus in a bell jar. From this experiments of heating powdered charcoal, he concluded that the substance which combines with the phosphorus is either air itself or another elastic fluid contained in a certain proportion in the air which we breathe. Lavoisier observed that there was a great difference between the air in which combustion of a metal had been carried out and the air which had served for respiration. He gave logical conclusion for the process of respiration. He concluded that either eminently respirable air gets changed in the lungs to chalky acid air or an exchange takes place. This eminently respirable air is being absorbed and almost an equal volume of chalky acid air being given up to the air from the lung. Lavoisier experiments have given away to several other researchers. Around mid of 19th century, a renowned chemist, John Draper, has written a few lines as the chief materials which a living being receives are matter that can be burnt, water and oxygen gas and out of the action of these upon one another, all the physical phenomena of its life arises. What the body expels out is water, oxide of carbon, phosphorus, sulphur and others. Thus, in the mid of 19th century, we have observed the role of major compounds and elements during the process of respiration. Though the events and steps are not clear regarding respiration, people believed that there was a relation between the heat produced in the body and the process of respiration. Let us now discuss the steps involved in the process of respiration in human beings. The events or steps in respiration. Hover the mouse over the tabs to know more about their process.